Hello, it's Jim from JetsonX.com. On today's show, we are going to finish assembling the base unit of Race Car J. Let's get started. In the last two episodes of our build, we built the chassis up and the platform decks. On the platform decks, we installed the USB hub and the electronic speed controller. We are now ready to attach the platform decks to the chassis itself. We have to do some electrical connections. We need to connect the motor controller to the motor and the motor controller to the steering servo. We also need to install the IMU and the Jetson. Before we attach the deck to the chassis, let's prepare some of the wiring. We need to add a USB cable to the USB hub. This goes to the Jetson. It's easier to install this when it's not attached to the car. The next thing that we'll install is the USB power cable. This comes with the race car J kit. I'll add a zip tie here to help with the cable management. This is basically to keep these wires out of the drivetrain when we're testing it. Let's take a quick look at the chassis. It is easier to adjust the ride height of these springs with the deck off. I usually put it about halfway down the column. And now we're ready to attach the motor wires and the steering servo. Let's hook up the motor wires first. When we go to test this motor, if we have the wiring wrong, it will go in reverse instead of forward. If we want to change that behavior, then all we have to do is switch any two of these connections. Next, let's hook up the steering servo. Just plug it in here. Make sure the wire colors match. Black and black, red, white, all the colors. Well, three of the colors. White has all the colors. Get in there, boy. Okay, and then we'll put a little bit of electrical tape over this. That should make it happy. Now we'll do a little bit of cable management. Let's install the car battery. We need an XT60 to Traxxas converter for the battery when we're using this particular version of the VESC. Let's grab the battery. It goes right here. And we'll put its little battery keeper in also. So that should match up. And we'll put our platform like this. Now we're ready to install the IMU and the Jetson. Let's install the IMU first. This is a SparkFun SEN 140001. Before tightening the screws, we want to try to position the IMU slightly forward, so it does not touch the post here. Then we can snug it up. Next, let's install the Jetson. Let me put this aside. Grab our Jetson, pull it out of the static bag. Let 
It comes out of the box, mounted to a little platform, so we're going to unscrew it from the platform. Now we're ready to mount the Jetson on the platform deck. The camera points towards the rear of the car. We use our quarter inch 440 screws to mount the Jetson. These mounting points will take either a TX1 or a TX2. There are also mounting points for a Jetson TK1 on this particular platform. Now we're ready to do a little bit more wiring. Let's get a different angle. Let's put a zip tie here on the servo cable. Let's connect the IMU to the USB hub. I have here a seven inch micro USB to USB A cable. We'll zip tie that baby. Then we'll take the USB hub and plug it into the Jetson. And of course the power plug for the Jetson itself. I will leave a link in the description below of the jack sizes for these cables. Of course it depends on which battery you're using as to how you want them terminated. For testing purposes, I have a pre-made battery cable. This plugs directly into a XP 18000 AB battery. There are a couple of remaining steps. One of them is to attach the platform to the body itself. I usually wait until preliminary testing is over before actually attaching the platform to the chassis. It makes it easier to access some of the wiring underneath. But for the purposes of this demonstration, these are M3 by 10 screws. The screws go into the body mounting points. Now we're ready to put on the top platform. I placed some dual lock on here so that the battery can mount on the top platform deck. We'll attach it with 7 16 440 machine screws. We are finished with the initial assembly. Depending on how you decide to configure your race car, of course, you'll have to add your cameras or your LiDAR. And of course, we'll need some type of wiring to connect with the battery. At this point, we're ready to go program the Jetson with some ROS software and the race car software. Thanks for watching.